Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy 2 on the Wii Virtual Console. It's time for uh, Roops, Georgie, Lily, and Prince Edward to continue their trek up uh, Mount Hobbs to get to uh, Fabule, where the Crystal of Air is, apparently, and that's where uh, Golbez is after next. So, like I said, it's a small dungeon, so we only have uh, two more rooms after this. We've got a boss battle coming up this room right here, and uh, more importantly, we're going to get a new party member. So, filling out our party here. Got some more white arrows, it'll be for later, and there's our new party member up there. What's that? He must be a karate fighter for Buell. Achoo! And he's gonna take on these enemies here. Take these guys out, and then we get a little cutscene here that kind of shows off what this guy's abilities are. So he's a stripped fighter, doesn't that get magic? His name is Yang. Uh, he has a kick ability there, basically like halves his attack power, but it distributes among all the enemies in the uh, on the field. So basically, like if there's more than uh, two enemies, um, it might be a good idea to do the kick. Kick also doesn't in inflict a counter attack, so that is helpful too if there's enemies that counter attack. Uh, otherwise, he attacks with the claws weapons, and uh, the claws are really, really good. They don't really give bonuses in terms of strength. His uh, attack power basically comes from his his own innate strength. Uh, he has a different attack formula than uh, other characters, kind of like the monks in uh, Final Fantasy One and Three, where he basically attacks barehand. But what the claws do is they usually have elemental properties. So right now he only has one claw, the fire claw. Uh, but then there's other elements claw, there'll be an ice claw, uh, uh, a, 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 a lightning claw, then there'll be claws for different types of enemies, there'll be like a giant claw, claws effective against uh, uh, like fairies and stuff, so uh, yeah, the claws are effective because they usually have, uh, uh, they exploit their weakness on some enemy, so. Here we have the mom bomb. Um, you're not going to be able to do 10,000 uh, hit points of damage to it, uh, it's just too much, but basically you just want to attack it as much as possible and uh, force it into uh, its next phase. So once it becomes this phase here, uh, have Edward hide because uh, you don't have to attack it anymore, because uh, basically just after a few uh, rounds it'll explode and deal a lot of damage, and it'll explode into three bombs and three gray bombs. So we'll let it explode. And then uh, as soon as it's finished exploding, uh, then we just have to take out these uh, bombs here. Rosa can cure everybody up, heal everybody up. Edward, since he didn't take any damage, he can, when he uh, comes back from his hiding, he can throw potions if he needs to, or try to charm some of the uh, gray bombs. They're tougher than the regular bombs. They can actually take out a regular bomb with a regular attack, so. Unfortunately, Georgie got hit there pretty bad, so we're gonna have uh, Yang take up some healing duties. Because when you uh, split a, uh, when you multi-target uh, with a spell, whether it's an offensive spell or a defensive spell, uh, it cuts down the amount of uh, damage or healing it does. So that's why uh, Lily's cure one there didn't really heal a lot from everybody because it was split amongst the four party members. So you have more than uh, two enemies here, so we'll have Yang do the kick. And he'll be able to do uh, a little bit of damage to everybody. Chocobo can take out the uh, gray bombs in one hit. And Cecil and Yang, uh, Loops and Yang together can usually take out a gray bomb. Uh, but just try to finish them off. If you don't finish them off fast enough, they will explode, and the amount of hit points they have left is how much damage they'll do. So luckily that one was almost dead, so it didn't deal with all the damage to Lily there when they exploded. And with that, we have taken out a new boss, the Mom Bomb. Thank you, I am Yang, the Karate Master for Buell. We were training when the monsters overtook us. Gobos must have sent them. We must be using them to attack the crystal. That means they will try to capture our crystal of air as well. No doubt, Damson was already attacked and had the crystal taken away. The Buell is next, but we are helpless. I'm the only survivor of our main forces. Those in the castle just started on their training. Gobos must have sent those monsters. To keep us busy here and, and attack for Buell, then they will be attacking any minute. But you are a dark knight. It's not only your problem, but also ours. I'm the Prince of Damson. Lily and I are in Bannon. And she is Georgie. I was fooled by the King of Bannon and I had to defeat her mother. Oh, she's still a little hurt from that. You have your own reasons, I see. Would you help me then? Of course. The duel is over the east of the 
It's east over the mountain. Let's go. And then Karate Man Yang joined. He is a melee attacker, so he's good in the front row. He ha doesn't really have good defense because, like most monks in games, uh, he doesn't wear heavy armor. Uh, but he mainly just has to rely on his agility to defend things. But he has massive um, vitality, so he can gain a lot of hit points when he levels up. Uh, there was a bug, though, in this game. Uh, after a certain level, I think level 60, he doesn't gain any more hit points. Uh, but if he did, he'd be like uh, the only character who could uh, easily hit the max hit points of 9,999. Uh, he's not getting a name because he is not a final party member. So Right now he only has one claw equipped. That's weird. Uh, I don't know why he didn't come out with two claws equipped. But uh, you could get him a second claw. We could do that duplication glitch if we wanted to. Get him a second claw. Uh, we give him a second fire claw. Right now he has a fire claw. Uh, it, it doesn't make sense, though, to double up on uh, elemental uh, uh, weaknesses, though. So if he has a Fire Claw, no, he's giving him a second Fire Claw. You want to exploit another elemental weakness. So, like, you give him an Ice or a Lightning Claw. So, and that's basically how we're going to, you know, equip Yang. We're going to get basically all the different types of Claws that he has. And uh, then, depending on the type of uh, weaknesses that the monsters in the area that we'll be fighting have, we'll switch out Claws. So. In a future dungeon, there'll be enemies that have weaknesses to lightning and ice. So we'll give him a lightning and an ice claw. So he does a lot of damage that way, so... But we'll buy more of those claws uh, when we get to uh, the Buell. Because actually they're a uh, society of monks, so they're going to have those kind of weapons. Surprisingly, they also have Dark Knight equipment. Uh, so we're going to get an upgrade for uh, Roops' equipment there. As well, which is good because we have a really interesting thing coming up here. Notice you gotta get to for you all over the to the east here, beyond the mountains. We got a new enemy here, the Needler. These guys are annoying because uh, if you hit them, uh, they're like the sword rats. If you hit them uh, and don't defeat them, they counter with a needle attack, which does a pretty decent amount of damage, just like the needle attack that the ant lion did. Uh, one of the good things about Yang though is he has the, that kick thing, and that does not incur uh, a counter penalty. So he can kick away and not have to worry about uh, the kneeler's uh, countering. And that's good because uh, he can lower the hit points of the kneeler, basically to the point where Roops will be able to finish them off with a hit. Where Roops isn't strong enough to do it on his own, but with a uh, kick, uh, it's fine. Once again, Georgie can use the Chocobo to take out a Needler. Don't feel bad, uh, don't feel that you need to uh, conserve your MP, because there's going to be a free healing coming up in Fabule. We're going to take advantage of. And there's that Needle attack. I thought I could maybe charm the Needler with uh, Edward, but it didn't work out, so. I can uh, use the aim, aim once again. Uh, it will inflict, a, it will incur the counter attack. But uh, it has that 100% accuracy and it doesn't isn't affected by row, so she can safely target uh, enemies in back rows from the back row and uh, not have to worry about dealing less damage. So we just head through these mountains here and we'll come across the castle. Uh, further east there's a Chocobo forest, I'll go to that one later. It's kind of out of the way, but I'm just going to go into for fuel here real quick. Yeah, we're waiting for you. Yang, we're waiting for you. And they all say the same thing. Okay, so we're gonna go in here. The left is an inn. We don't have to stay at this inn. I'm gonna stay at the inn anyway. Uh, we can save some gold. There's a free healing point in this castle. Uh, I'm just mainly gonna use that free healing point because it's it's funny. It's a funny dialogue when you do it. But so we're gonna sell uh, a bunch of stuff that we don't need anymore. That shadow gear is obsolete. Uh, the dreamer harp is obsolete. The bow is obsolete. Uh, we're actually gonna be losing uh, Lily and Georgie. So if you want, you can de-equip them of all their stuff and sell it. Uh, but, like I said, I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, I will not be de-equipping characters when they leave, so... I said the money isn't that uh, tight that we uh, need to do that, so... And, because uh, we haven't been running from any encounters, we've been fighting everything that we can come across, so... We have more than enough money to get what we need. We lost our main forces? No, I can't believe it. It's the same thing. And what we do need here is um, some weapons and armor. So we can buy uh, the new type of claws. Uh, 
I'm gonna buy, uh, I'm gonna need a, um, basically one of each of the type of claws, and I'm gonna get a second, uh, Ice Claw, because it's cheaper than the Thunder Claw. Um, like I said, I could get a second Fire Claw, because that's the cheapest, but then Yang would just exploit, like, the Fire Weaknesses, uh, the, twice, and there's no reason to do that, so I'll just give him two, uh, things. You don't have to buy the second, you don't have to buy the first Fire Claw, a second Fire Claw, or a second Ice Claw, uh, if you're just gonna de-equip him afterwards, uh, cause Yang's not gonna be in our party too much longer, so... We're gonna basically be starting from scratch soon. But we do want to buy, uh, all that new darkness gear, cause we have a long series of battles coming up. Uh, so... Gonna defend this castle. But... Before we do that, we're just gonna talk with everybody before the, the battle begins. And make a safety save. So this is a way that I guess is often missed, I guess. But uh, I'm gonna head out this way to uh, talk with these folks. I'm not sleeping, I'm contemplating. I heard your average on Mount Hobbs. Are you okay, sir? I don't know how they found that out so quickly. I just got here. So. Hmm? Oh boy, stop. We're safe in the castle. Beat them up, sir. Get some money. Are you back from training, Yang? God. This dancer here wants to see me dance? No. Did you make fun of me? Why would we make fun of you? Well, we'll see why. Because, uh, if we ask um, her to dance, it's really a monk in disguise. Ah! And he'll jump up on the table and start doing, like, I guess karate moves and flips and stuff. So I guess that's why I think we might have made fun of him. But we'll just let him dance and do his thing. And that character moved ahead of us, moved into us because of, uh, we moved back during the cutscene. So this is the funny thing where we get a free heal. Uh, there's, that's the king's bed. It's our king's bedroom. Let's sleep in the king's bed! Yeah, he just, you know, he just came back from, like, a big fight, you know, probably all dirty and our armor's probably all, like, maybe bloody with the enemy's, uh, blood from the monsters. But we're just like, yeah, let's just jump in the king's bed just for fun. So... Yeah, it's uh, pretty funny, but I said, that's why I didn't need to stay at the inn there, but sometimes you can miss going to the south uh, when you just go in, because you have to kind of go out of your way to see that exit when you're going into the main tower. We want to come into this tower to uh, get some treasure. If we were going to rename Yang, we have a naming way here in the uh, hospital. There's the nursing room. And uh, we have Yang's wife up here. Sleep in his and her bed. Hi, honey. It's my wife. This is Ruth. She saved my life. Thanks. She gets a name in the after years. But I guess they didn't decide on one for her right now, so... She'll give an important item later on if we do a, a side quest. Uh, she'll, give, she'll give, like, the best throwing weapon in the game. Uh, but that's much later. So yay. So yay. Going up will uh, get us to the king's room, and that will uh, start off the... Uh, big battle scene here. So before we do the battle scene, we're just going to make our safety save. And then we'll take care of that big battle, the assault on the Fabule in our next episode. So take care. Thanks for following along and uh, have a good day. Thank you for everything. Bye.